Man's Sky. This is No Man's Sky Origins, which is the latest update to the game. Hello Games have been very good at updating No Man's Sky since its release, and I have to say this is probably my most exciting one, because uh, I've been playing No Man's Sky since the beginning, since it first came out. And what I loved about this game was the exploration, the discovering new planets, new animals, all this procedurally generated goodness. And I felt that that had really been lost a little bit in recent updates for whatever reason. And this update has all been about the procedural generation. Now, this series for me is going to be all about one particular thing and that is finding the giant sandworms so if you saw the trailer for No Man's Sky Origins or even if you saw the original No Man's Sky there was um, there was some uh, sandworms in there I realized that that might be a bit loud actually so let's just work my sound effects down a little bit. There we go. As we fly around here, um, yeah, the sad worms were always something that I was really, really uh, excited about in uh, No Man's Sky, but they didn't exist in the game until now, and uh, it's been confirmed that they're here. So this mini series I guess is going to be about trying to find the sad worms because I remember being super excited about those when this game released and uh, the thing that I've loved about No Man's Sky as I said was just the exploration the discovery and that's what I want to get back in this game uh, I'm here in my little funky S-class ship um, this planet it won't hold any worms uh, as you can see though, the terrain has been really uh, revamped. It's got these massive mountain peaks and these little kind of lagoons and rivers and oceans. Uh, and yeah, I'm super excited to see and explore what's out there now because I felt like the game really lost its way a little bit in terms of the variety and dynamic uh, kind of fauna and flora that it had in the world and uh, yeah I want to kind of discover that again as it were. I still love this game, I haven't played it very much recently. Uh, I tried to get into Desolation but um, I didn't. Uh, I'm wondering if I've actually seen all of these planets. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I have it in this system. Let's have a look. Yes, I have. Okay. So I think what would be really cool is if we go and warp and discover. Now I have to actually check to see if my warp drive has actually got any. Uh, yeah, it has. Cool. So we got it. That's, this is my ship. I really like it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, what I will say is that before the update, it had gold bits on it, and it doesn't seem to have gold bits on it anymore. So I don't know what happened there. Uh, oh, and I brought this for a lot of money, and I slightly regret it now. But anyway, uh, I don't know what it was. I just brought it because some guy messaged me in space, and, and I was like, oh yeah, I should probably buy that. So let's uh, get the galaxy map up. He says, I think completely forgotten how to play the game. And let's go somewhere new. Uh, we have visited there. Uh, deselect current system. Oh, what's this one? We haven't been here before, so let's do it. So I don't know, this epi this series could be one episode long, it could be ten episodes long, I don't know, I, I, I don't know, because I don't know 
how much this game is going to still capture my imagination. So, we've got uh, five planets here. I'm going to guess that the sandworms are going to want... Oh, erupting. We're definitely going there. So they've got volcanoes now. That's a good find, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much is going to capture my imagination, the discovery and stuff like that, but uh, as I said, I, I wanted to uh, jump back in and see what it's all about now. Ooh, this is fancy. Very fancy. Oh wow, there's a volcano. Wow. Wowie. Now that, that looks pretty cool. Oh yeah. Very cool. Oh wow. Oh, whoops. Let's uh, land at the bottom of this and uh, see what we can uh, have a look at, shall we? My ship does look pretty cool when it lands. I think you would agree. Oh wow, look, the, the lava actually flows. Oh wow. Oh shit, what was that? <laughs> Something just kind of exploded. I know that there are actually like meteorites which can land now on planets. I'm wondering if that's a, a thing. That just happened there. Uh... Wow. Look at this. This is cool. What are these things? It's inorganic. Reconite. Okay. Oh, there's a sentinel still there. Oh, there's a... Okay, yep, yeah, things are kind of flying out of the planet and exploding. Good to know. Let's go see him. He looks like a kangaroo. <laughs> a good day, mate. <laughs> it's like a goat, but it walks on two feet. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh my god, that is cool. Ah, pleased to meet you. I don't have any pellets, sorry. Hello. How you all doing, guys? You all right? They got little babies here as well. So yeah, it would seem like uh, the... The volcanoes are erupting uh, large... It's gonna hurt me if I run towards it. But already, like this is this is like nothing I've seen in No Man's Sky for five years. No, that's too too far. Two years, two years. Sorry, getting exaggerated there. Um, yeah, which is incredible. Because oh look, it kind of vents. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Tell me that's not super cool. That is awesome. Yes. I keep an eye on my uh, launch fuel as well. I don't actually have any. I need dihydrogen crystals. Uh, and metal plates. I've got the dihydrogen. I don't have the metal plates. I need ferro dust. Let's get some here while we're here. Because we've got some here. Look. So uh, literally I'm just going to uh, do exploration and stuff like that and uh, rather than like base building and things like that because as I said I just want to find the giant sandworms I just think they're so freaking cool I'm a big fan of Dune uh, over the years and uh, I played a lot of Dune 2000 watched the film I'm very excited for the remake of the film 
I think that uh, looks absolutely incredible and uh, I'm really uh, excited to uh, see them in game form as well they just look incredible okay we've got a bit of that let's, uh, let's make one of these are you joking me? <laughs> there's some dihydrogen crystals so cool that is incredibly cool yeah 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 what are they uh, realize my uh, thermal protection is a little low don't worry we're not too far away from the ship first planet which we've uh, kind of had a look at the first new thing there the awesome volcanoes the question is where do we go next like, I'm sure there, there might be other things on other planets I'm just excited to uh, to get to the other planets I think let's go this one this looks a very cool color okay changed unknown Can't scan it yet, apparently. Now, this does look a little bit desert, the isotopic planet. Okay, it's radioactive actually. So, I don't think we'll see the worms here. We, we want a, uh, a desert planet, I'm guessing. I, I don't know, I haven't looked. I don't want to spoil anything for myself. So, all I've done is watch the, uh, the trailer, but uh, I am very excited to find these worms <laughs> I don't know what I do when I find them just look at them take a picture maybe uh, okay let's have a look at what we've got going on here so this is interesting we have craters here there's a little base down there oh there's an actual like port there which would be good some big ass looking plant things there we go okay what have we got contaminated puddles what are these Oh, hello. Is there any ships around here called the mine? Nope. The mine is the coolest. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much going on on this planet, does there, to be fair. Um, I might just go see if we can actually buy some uh, Starship fuel or something like that. Or something that which will... Awesome. I should also refill my life support. That didn't really work, did it? There we go. Okay. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Oxygen capsules we want for the life support as well. That just it just saves you a lot of time and effort doesn't it really we're gonna uh, be landing and taking off on a lot of planets got some birds here 
We should make some decent units actually if we scan these planets as well. Man. It's kind of crazy looking, isn't it? We'll fly around a little bit, see if we uh, can see anything else. It's a little bit uh, desolate around here, doesn't it? But again, I'm seeing things which I haven't seen before. So that's still very exciting. Um, oh, there's some big mountains coming up over here. There's another little port over there. That's a little temple thing. Okay, interesting. Definitely no sandworms though. I think we can uh, be sure of that. Okay, on to the next one. Undiscovered planet. A viridescent planet. Okay. Aggressive sentinels, so it'll probably be quite nice usually uh, when you have very aggressive sentinels, which are the little uh, robots which will attack you if you steal stuff from the planet. Um, usually, when they're aggressive, it means the planet actually is really nice. <laughs> so you kind of have that trade off a little bit. Uh, it looks like we've got a bit of an ocean maybe in the top right there. Uh, I don't know. Okay, it looks like quite a lot of water. Water's uh, <laughs> kind of loading in there a little bit. Okay, we've got, we've got some nice kind of flat land. This, this looks like the type of place that would be great for for building a base on, especially on like on top of there, perhaps. Um, oh, we've got a little air, we've got another little uh, space port here as well. Let's land here. Blissful weather, rich flora, ample fauna, impulse beans. Extreme Sentinel Planet, yes, it's, wa it's warned me a few times. So we're maybe okay in the spaceport. Um, let's see if we can have a little fly around and notice anything interesting. Um, there's a unknown building there. It just looks like a beacon actually. I'll leave that for now. That looks pretty cool. Whatever is going on in there. Looks very cool. sandworms here. <laughs> Definitely not. Wait. Oh my god, that's a meteorite coming down and hitting the earth. Oh now that is very cool. Did it do anything? I 
don't know if it did anything. So that's definitely confirmed <laughs> that there are meteorites which will come down, volcanoes that will explode. This is all very, very cool. Right, on to the next. I, I kind of want to keep focused, you know. So we've done that blue one there. We've done that one as well, I believe. Um, we need to do this one over here. This one looks a little bit interesting. Okay, we might have some combat, just so you know. Hemal planet. That is, I don't know the, the word hemal. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. There we go, cannons, right, where are they? Is he? Yeah, he is. How many got left? One. There we go. Defeated. You're no match for me, my friends. No match. Uh, right, where was that planet we were going towards? Was it that one? Yes. I've oh, got a gold nugget. Insufficient fuel. Okay. We actually did run out of fuel. Yep, you prime. Hemol. Let me look up the word hemol. It's winter. Of characteristic of or occurring in winter. Okay, so unlikely to be its handworms, but we'll definitely check it out for, well, just seeing what is going on in there. It has some interesting colours, I think, doesn't it? Uh, it's browns and blues and greys. So I'm very, still very interested to know what is going on on this planet. Unless that brown is like uh, water, which could be the case. Yeah, I think it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> the brown is water. Okay, in which case we need to... bit back up into the uh, okay we can have a little fly around here and see uh, what there is to see Very pretty though, these clouds are stunning. Absolutely stunning. Looks like some rock, it, it, it's almost sand, but uh, not quite. Not quite. place to land up here. dragonfly things aren't they it's very very pretty not the sort of place I don't think we would uh, be able to spend a long time on 
Might as well get this little uh, The music in this game is so good as well I just love coming to places that no one else has been to before. Discovering something new every time that other people could come and visit at, at some point, but it's probably unlikely they will because of the sheer size of uh, of it. It's huge. I've already seen some nice variations in the planets, not just in the type, but in the the fauna, the the formations, the clouds, everything about it. Just does feel like it is getting back to that kind of wonder of the original version, I guess, where it it felt like you were finding something new every single time you landed whereas i think recently it felt a little bit like if you went to a winter planet it would look pretty much the same as this with some slight differences but it never really felt like it it, it just felt very pared back on, on what it used to be i think and uh, as a result the exploration for me just became a bit tedious really um and i and I, as I said, that was mostly what I was here for in the game. There, there are loads of other good things in the game, but from my perspective, I, I really wanted to enjoy the uh, exploration of the game. I do like this ship, by the way. It is pretty funky. Whoa. I nearly crashed it. Okay. I do like these clouds, though. They do look really good some uh, Microsoft Flight Sim uh, stuff going on there uh, okay I think we've still got planets to uh, discover haven't we I like this new menu here so we've got that one to discover still which one is that do we think discovered this one so we've definitely gone to Rom of the Ring we know that much discovered that this one been discovered no okay tropical mm. switch nine charged up just in case we haven't got anything to charge that that's fine can we okay fair I don't even know what I've got in my inventory it's been so long since I played this game <laughs> oh, okay There's some other people want to uh have a fight with us. Okay, where are they? Here we go. I think there was one and we just killed him straight out. <laughs> Embarrassing. We discovered that one, didn't we? Where's this other one? Here? Yeah. It reminds me of a B Wing from uh, Star Wars, this, sh this uh, ship, which is pretty cool because I do like the B Wing.
quite difficult to see because it's like night time but looks like uh, it doesn't look that tropical to be fair I was thinking trees but to be fair it doesn't always have to be like that I guess There's another meteorite. So the land here. So we've got ooh. oh. Oh, I like the grass. This is very pretty. Very, 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 very cool. Look at this. Oh, wow. See, I didn't get it would be like this from the surface, which is why you always have to land. This is pretty stunning. in the animals yet though oh yeah there's a sentinel oh like you can see the the mushrooms like pulsing oh that's really nice it's like a little kind of fairy tale around here stunning actually I like it a lot I don't know if it's the sort of place where it just looks good at night. I don't know if we'll be around long enough to tell, but uh, it's really, really just stunning. This is so cool. I'm so happy that this game has uh, got back to... I don't want to say its roots, but got back at least to the stuff that I really enjoyed about it. looking at out of those mushrooms they're glowing red that is crazy uh, I was kind of getting towards daytime now and these are all kind of glowing as well it's super cool yeah I think it's one of those places where it is better at night but it's still very very pretty in the daytime I love it. It's probably one of my favourite ones I think I've found so far. And I didn't have a lot of hope for this actually landed here. But it's like, it feels like something from like Mario, you know. <laughs> like, oh god. Like Toad, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom or something like that, you know. It's super cool. The colours are stunning. Wow, okay. Oh, can you actually skim the water with this? Let's try this. I'm intrigued. Uh, okay, let's try it now. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Cool. I did. I've never done that before. That's super cool. Yeah, I like this planet a lot actually. I'd definitely build a base here, with how stunning that looks at night. I don't know what you could really do. I mean, I am also missing like the underwater things, which has been really improved uh, as well. So I appreciate that. There might be some cool things, but. As I said, we would we would spend hours on each planet looking for things. I'm, I have my own particular search that I want to do for this sandworm, and uh, we will 
do that but um, we will go to our next galaxy next time ladies and gentlemen till then thank you for watching i'll see you soon bye bye